All right, we're going to have our little spiritualist section here, reading from the 24-hour day book of Alcoholics Anonymous. And this is for Monday, February the 13th. Thought for the day. Sometimes we can't help thinking, why can't we ever drink again? We know it's because we're alcoholics, but why do we have to get that way? The answer is that Sometime in our drinking careers, we passed what is called our tolerance point. When we pass this point, we pass from a condition in which we could tolerate alcohol to a condition which we could not tolerate alcohol at all. After that, if we took one drink, we would sooner or later end up drunk. Question is, when I think of liquor now, do I think of it as something I can never tolerate again? meditation for the day. In a race, it is when the goal is in sight that heart and nerves and muscle and courage are strained almost to the breaking point. So with us, the goal of the spiritual life is in sight. All we need is the final effort. The saddest records are made by the people who ran well with brave stout hearts until the sight of the goal and then some weakness or self-indulgence held them back. They never knew how near the goal they were or how near they were to victory. Prayer for the day. I pray I may press on until the goal is reached. I pray that I may not give up in the final stretch. And from the Daily Word, you see it? The penguins? <laughs> Oops. Something just got in front of my screen here. That's so bizarre. I hate when pop-ups, pop-ups from hell. All right. Monday, February 13th, 2012. Bumper is prosperity. The title is Spirit. I'm sorry. Spirit fills my mind and my life with unlimited good. I live in a world of spirit substance. It permeates my mind as divine ideas that enrich my life's affairs. Because I am conscious of this omnipresent substance, I know there is no lack in any aspect of my life. I look around me, and everything I see, evidence, is, is evidence of God's abundance. The fields are green with the promise of a great harvest, a wealth of goodness. Rich ideas and unlimited potential are available to all. My heart is filled with gratitude in the assurance of divine supply. I resolve to never dwell on the appearance or lack or limitation, but to think, speak, and live as a grateful receiver of an abundant supply of spirit substance. And from scriptures, scripture, scriptures, I'm just, I can't look. Psalm, uh, verse one, no, chapter 139, verse 17. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum 